Welcome to the tutorial on how to build a forum for your website. For those of you who do not have a forum, it's something you should certainly look into. It's a community that will build itself. You really put it up and you get your customers to go and start posting on there and it will build on its own. You can even monetize it by running something like Google AdSense on it. Uh, but it's an also a great way to eliminate customer support questions if you have them already answered in a forum. So on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put up a free form. It won't even cost you a dime. Um, and how to install it, how to download it, how to get it FTP it up to your server, and then how you're going to actually um, open it up and start putting posts on there and get everything set. So the first part is I want to show you uh, phpbb.com. Uh, this is a public source. They've been around since 2000, and it's a community around the world that actually programs this. So that's why it's free. It's an open source code. But you need to go to phpbb.com to download it. So when you get there, all you want to do is go down here to the center and you'll see latest PHP BB3 release. Download latest release. So we'll click there. And now you're going to have a couple different options here. You want to go ahead and pick the top one, PHP B 3.01.zip. We're going to left click. and it should open up here in a second okay so once you get this screen you want to go ahead and hit save and then you want to put it anywhere you want on your computer I recommend it on your desktop and what I've done is made a folder that says forum files and just download the whole thing um, to form files. So click Save. Okay, and once it's downloaded, I didn't go directly into the form files, I just went ahead and had it download to my desktop, and you'll see it phpbb3.1.0. I have a different version, I don't have the latest one, so just find wherever it downloaded, just double click it, because we want to extract it, and then you're going to hit Close, and now you're going to go Extract to if you're using WinZip and then pick the folder you want to extract to so this is where you find the forum files folder that you've created and extract all the files to that folder once you've done that alright so now you should open up the forum files folder that you created and inside that folder you're going to have one named phpbb3 and this is where all your files are going to be held for the forum so at this point you're done downloading everything now we need to get it up to the server well the first way is you need to integrate it with your website um, so I'm going to show you a way to do it with Dreamweaver but even if you had any other type of HTML, ed HTML editor you just want to be able to get this folder in with your other site files and then FTP it up to the server so on the next scene we're going to be in Dreamweaver I actually want to go ahead and show you an easy way to copy the files over in Windows Explorer. First you want to find the PHP BB3 folder, highlight it, go to edit, copy to folder, and then this is where you're going to find your websites and this is where you want to copy it to. So for instance, I am going to be copying this to affiliate forums and then PHP BB3 because I've already copied over there. So just select the folder you want to transfer it to and then hit copy. Okay, so now here we are in Dreamweaver. And on the right hand side, you can see I'm um, at affiliate forms right here. And the folder phpbb3 is now under that site. So the only thing I need to do is to go ahead and upload this site um, to the server. So if you're using an FTP transfer, just go ahead and transfer it to the folder on your server where, you, where your website is hosted. If you're using something like Dreamweaver, all you have to do is simply connect to your server and hit upload. And once all the files are uploaded, I'm going to show you how we're going to go into Internet Explorer and then we're going to access the install file. Okay, so once you have the PHP folder uploaded to your server, the next thing you're going to have to do is create a MySQL database. And this is very simple. It might sound difficult, but it's not. You have to go into your hosting site, wherever you host it at. For instance, mine is GoDaddy.com, and I have a hosting account with them, and you're allowed 25 MySQL accounts um, with each hosting account. So here are the three different hosting accounts I have. Pick what hosting account is going to have the form on it. And this one's going to be AffiliateMarketingMist.com, so I'm going to just hit Manage account under control panel 
and the next screen you're going to see will be this one and it's an account summary and you can see here number of MySQL databases zero setup of 25 available so the next thing we want to do is go down to databases MySQL no databases have been created press the create database button above to create so we just simply left click that description this one's going to be affiliate forums online MySQL version 4.1 is fine we have to have a username so let's do affiliate forums and then whatever password you want to come up with okay and once you have your passwords entered in let's go ahead and hit OK and there you go you've created a MySQL database just like that and now what will happen is is once we get into the files of that folder we uploaded we're gonna be able to access the install file and it's gonna ask us for some of this information for the MySQL so that's why you needed to go ahead and create this so that'll be the next step is when we actually go into Internet Explorer and we go to the domain and we find the install folder for the forum